again the same. Uh, as of now, I am a director of information technology to government of Maharashtra. Just a brief about my journey to this position. Uh, before coming into the Indian Administrative Service, I was a fighter pilot with the Indian Air Force, uh, flying MiGs before I chose to move over to the Indian Administrative Service. And in IAS, I have looked after districts which are having a population of say a 4 million and more uh, and as large and complex as few of the countries in the globe. First and foremost intervention that has uh, caught eye of the public as well as the government is the UID initiative that is Aadhaar card mm -hmm. and its subsequent integration with various social sector services would be a game changer in the future. I think digitization with process reengineering for the government is the second uh, big thing which is going to come in the future and it has already started. And third thing which I look at is that we have to have interactive governance systems in our urban management. Okay. And the concept of smart cities and interactive systems is going to be the strong forte in field of IT as far as government sector is concerned. Like you mentioned, you've been a fighter pilot then you were in the IAS and now you're the director of IT department government of Maharashtra. So how has the entire journey panned out if you could shed some light on that? Oh, it's been an amazing uh, journey. Uh, see, as a fighter... Considering you are flying jet planes yeah. and <laughs> fighter pilots, it's been an amazing journey at supersonic speeds, yeah. I'm presuming. Yeah, it, 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 it has been like... Um, uh, flying uh, fight, fighter planes has been an experience in itself. Like okay. uh, you are moving at almost the speed of, of sound or more than that. So your judgment capability, your reactions have to be fast. Yes. And yes. Uh, your mental alertness, your psychomotor coordination, everything has to be of top standards. Yes. Of course, that has helped me in my journey to Indian Administrative Service also. Because finally, making quick decisions, ensuring that uh, you uh, kind of uh, deliver what you are meant for has given me a good performance in the IAS also. Nice. And see, it is like a, it's like a citizen delivery services uh, or what we are right now dealing when, we, when, when, when you are a public administrator is that uh, you are interacting with public and you are making their lives easier. So how fast you can arrive at a decision, how fast you can understand what the requirements are there. And if you are one step ahead of that, of course, service delivery and the administration will improve leaps and bounds. So my tenure in Air Force has direct, uh, you know, impact on whatever I am doing right so now. So it's become more systemized and disciplined of course, now. Yes. So, so tell me, sir, um, considering we are, we are moving towards an era of having smarter cities and everything's digitalization is happening everywhere. So um, tell me one thing. You know, how, as and when the government module digitalizes, it, it becomes more susceptible to uh, adverse effects like hacking and all that. So what's your take on that? See, uh, as I said earlier, that information technology is a rapidly evolving field. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, we say development and hacking would go hand in hand. So it's like a cat and mouse game. Okay. It's, it's like a wild chase. So you have to be one step ahead. Okay. And the government digitization process or for that matter any office digitization process in the corporate sector also will have to keep pace with what is going on on the negative side too. Okay. And if that is done and our cyber security measures are effectively in place, I think that we can take care of that. Perfect. So now which brings me to my next question. This is your first time at NGDC and I have been, I've been told that you're not a gamer yourself. But uh, you checked out a couple of Game of the Year uh, yeah, games here. Yeah. How was the experience like? Oh, it's been great. This is first time I have come to a gaming conference. Uh -huh. And first uh, reaction which I could give was that uh, the participation seems to be... Um, it's, it's like uh, uh, I had never expected such So now you've seen like fanaticism of like some yeah. other level altogether. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many people, youngsters into this sector, you see ch children studying in class 8th or 7th into gaming industry and they are developing games. Yeah. This was actually, I had never thought about it, that this could happen. So we, we are in fact entering into, uh, into totally a new era. Yeah. Like in our times, maybe that we, we could have one simulated game and we were very happy with it. Today, the students themselves are practicing development of games. And I just had um, interaction with uh, Chennai kids mm -hmm. studying in class 8th. They could think on these lines, develop a game of quizzing 
and and and, and it's so amazing. And the amount of effort and the talent which yes. goes in coding the entire lines and lines of games. It's it's like it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And this industry, believe you me, what what I can see with my limited experience in gaming or um, uh, uh, this uh, entire sector, this is going to be the the the, the industry of tomorrow because it can cover all sectors starting from education to health to skill development yeah because there are a lot of speakers like who are making informative games yeah. i met this guy uh, yesterday who is making games on nurses so they can like nurse patients better yes they are making games about doctors who can like operate better and it's yeah. been said in research also that games help improve uh, their uh, concentration skills depending on what kind of a game they're playing so uh, tell me sir which brings me also to this question um Gaming in India has been progressing. It is pretty much there, dominating each and every year. But we don't, as and when, have any particular national awards like any other country has for gaming, gaming specifically. Okay. So, do you think that could be happening in the near future? Of course, I think that since um, this, this as as of now, this industry is in a very nascent phase. Yes. But we need to encourage these people who are entering into this sector and doing wonderful work. Uh -huh. It's not only that gaming is related to just just playing something yeah it is it's it's learning while you play okay okay say you talked about virtual patients yes it's it's amazing like yes. you can operate on them and there is no risk yes you learn and you learn well yes similarly virtual classrooms today you can teach people from anywhere to anywhere yeah. and if you have some game developed on each particular thing the attention span of children would be more on these things because they become automatically interested yes. in this yes. and in this sector also i strongly feel that we should have some kind of awards that should be instituted to encourage the uh, people who are there in gaming industry okay. and uh, they should be encouraged i really hope those awards happen soon but do tell me have what was the last game you ever played come on everybody's played a computer game uh, i really want to know what the director of information technology has played yeah, or like the last game they played It's I think my child keeps playing Temple Run, so I play <laughs> Temple Run with them. Yeah. <laughs> you like the game a lot. Temple yeah, Run. I did. Uh, but uh, my child was performing much better than me. I would often fall, but he he could cross many levels. I hope you reach <laughs> a better level than Temple Run. Thank you for being with us Thank today, sir. So it was a pleasure and honor meeting you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.